Air expands on heating. Have you ever wondered why do air filled rubber tires sometimes burst in summers? During hot day of summers, the air in the tubes expands which might result in the bursting of the tube. Another example is that of hot air balloons. Have you ever thought how the balloon operators manage to fill such huge balloons? Actually, burners are used to heat the air inside the balloon. When the balloons are on the ground, the air inside it is just as dense as that outside. Burners heat the air inside the balloon. You know that gaseous molecules are not strongly bonded to each other. Heating causes the air molecules to move faster. As a result, distance between them increases. Consequently, air expands upon heating. Let's do an activity to understand how air expands upon heating. Take a boiling tube a cello tape and two beakers. One is containing hot water and the second is containing cold water. Stretch a balloon tightly over the neck of the test tube. You can use a tape to make it tight. Now place the test tube into hot water beaker. Do you see any change in the shape of the balloon? Yes, it is getting inflated. It is because the hot water heats up the air inside the test tube, due to which the air inside the test tube expands. This air seeks more space and therefore the balloon inflates. Now take out the test tube and the balloon from the hot water and place it inside the cold water beaker. Observe the change in the shape of the balloon. You will observe that the same balloon deflates when the tube is kept inside the cold water. It is because air contracts upon cooling. Because the cold water cools down the air inside the test tube due to which the air inside the bottle contracts. Thus, a low pressure area is created inside the balloon and therefore the balloon deflates.